Hello there. In this Libre Adam 3D tutorial, we're going to talk about some common problems with features that you may run across and how to resolve them. Uh, so the first example that we're going to look at is this, uh, this extrusion here, extrusion one. It says no solid body exists. And this is an extrude cut. So let's take a look at our sketch. And the sketch looks fine, right? We don't have any sketch problems. Uh, what this is telling us is that there's no solid body through which we can actually cut something. Uh, we're just cutting into air. And because no solid exists yet for this cut to go through, uh, it's kind of a meaningless feature. So that's why the status says no solid body exists. So if you're trying to cut something and you see this, uh, it's probably because your cut's not going through anything and it's just trying to notify you that that is the case. So to solve this problem, what we would do uh, is we would make sure that we have, you know, we'll just make a quick extrusion. Um, we have something for it to cut through. Now you'll notice that it's still, it's still broken. And that's because the Design Explorer goes in order, right? It says, do this thing first, then this thing, then this thing. So as far as this extrude cut is concerned, you know, if I, if I move the dog bone up and go back in time to right where it lives, there's nothing solid here. So the way that we fix that is we actually drag extrusion four above it, right? So now the first thing in the model is this solid body. And then if we try to extrude, it'll go with no problem. So that's thing number one. Uh, it's a pretty simple case, but uh, you might see it. The next thing that we run into pretty frequently is going to be problems with revolve boss and revolve cut. And uh, so let's look at our first example. In this case, we have a, another simple rectangular sketch. No problems there. And we go to the status and we see wire intersects axis. And the wire in this case, uh, that terminology refers to your actual sketch. And um, if we take a look at the feature itself, the axis that we've selected, uh, it's a little hard to see, is this, uh, is this axis right here. So let me um, reposition the camera a little bit. So unfortunately, the, the sketch goes on the other side of the axis, right? It crosses it. And this is an example where you're not going to be able to have a successful feature. So what, what's the answer here? Um, well, the answer is you're going to move uh, or, or redo the sketch such that it does not cross the axis that you pick. So one resolution is just as simple as this. I'll move the sketch over because I'm trying to revolve around this axis, right? So I need to be all on one side or all on the other side of it, but you can't have a, a cross. So what, I'll move it over and then I'll deactivate sketch and we can see that, uh, that it, it resolves quickly. And a common thing that you'll run into this in, especially for new people, is if you're, if you're trying to make a sphere, right? Uh, your first inclination might be, okay, I'm just gonna, you know, let me deactivate this to get that out of the way. Uh, your first inclination might be, I'm just gonna make a circle and I'm going to revolve that circle, you know, around this axis, and that's going to result in uh, a sphere. So you'll try it out, and you're going to get this wire intersects axis problem. So the right way to do this is you don't uh, revolve the whole thing, right? You only revolve half of it. So I'm going to make a line that connects the very top and the very bottom. And then I'm going to trim away the other side. So now we have this entire thing that lives on one side of the axis, uh, and it should revolve with no problem. So just something to be aware of there, right? Make sure uh, for, revo for revolutions, everything's on one side or the other of whatever axis that you pick. And the last thing is something that we haven't touched on yet, but it's called a sweep. And uh, a sweep is basically when you take one profile, in this case, the circle, and you say, I want to just run it along some other path. So in this case, we've created a spline uh, for it to run along. Uh, and sweeps are, are typically comprised of multiple different sketches. So you'll see sketch four and sketch three underneath the sweep feature. This sweep says, if I go to the status, uh, the sweep results in self-intersecting surfaces. 
And this is a this is an error that is not unique to sweeps. You might see this in lofts uh, or a few other things. What this means is that when it it brings let me show, let me show you an example of what a what a successful one would look like. So this is what a sweep looks like, right? And when it goes around, you know, for areas where there's not a lot of curvature, so this would be a good example of that. You know, this is even a, a reasonable example because there's not a lot of really tight curves. Now, there's a very low risk for self-intersections. But when you get into areas like this, right, where it kind of doubles back, where, um, you know, you start to see the squirrely interior geometry, uh, anytime it, it tries to make a tight corner, uh, and, and tight is going to depend on how big the circle is that you're trying to, or whatever figure that you're trying to sweep, right? So if I made the circle much, much bigger, uh, then perhaps, you know, even, even this area might be at risk for self-intersection. But for the size of this particular circle, we can kind of see that this is the place where it's really starting to, to unwind. So, um, you know, the, the way that you fix this is one of two ways, typically, or it might even be a combination of both. Um, the first one is go to uh, the, the item that you're sweeping, which in this case is a circle, and you're gonna edit that sketch. And I would start by just, uh, you know, if it's, let's say I'm at 0.07, we know that fails, right? Um, so maybe I'm gonna just try a, a slightly smaller maybe 0.06, and we'll see if that works. Nope. And maybe we'll try a 0.05. And we see that this results in something that's valid. You know, another way that you could fix it, let's say the, you know, the, the circle, you know, it, it needs to be 0.07. I don't have an option. I can't just make it smaller. Uh, so we'll turn it back, right? So how do you fix it now? Uh, well, your only other option in this case um, is to modify the sweep path. And so for that case, we'll edit sketch three instead. And we see we have access to the, the path that it's being swept along. So we know this area right here is kind of the, the problem. Uh, so perhaps we can change it to make it a little bit less aggressive on the curve. And we deactivate it. And we see now that it, uh, you know, it, can, it can compute. So that's, that's, you know, the easiest way to solve it. Um, another approach that you might use to solving something like this is going to be, um, you know, perhaps making this out of two features instead of one. Um, you know, that might, that might make it easier if, if you have certain constraints for, you know, the profile size and, you know, certain aspects of this need to be, you know, they're not, they're not easily changeable, then your answer might be to make, you know, half of this in one feature and then half of this uh, in another feature. Anyway, uh, that's uh, some of the more common uh, types of feature errors that you're going to see and how to fix them. Um, typically, the fixes are quick and easy. It's just a matter of you not understanding, you know, what the feature expects. For example, the, the revolution, you know, expects that the sketch is on one side or the other of the axis and not both. Uh, but once you start learning this stuff, these errors are going to be few and far between and you're going to have a great time.